Today I'm going to be talking about the power of Zen when it comes to your finances. Usually, people that come to me for any financial advice come with a certain degree of anxiety. And the advice is to drop that and to gather up all the peacefulness that you can. Another thing to look at when it comes to the power of Zen in your finances is to look at speed. Building or rebuilding your finances takes time, just like a Japanese garden, and that's okay. Whenever it comes to making money, you can choose to do it fast and work long hours, or you can choose to go slower. It doesn't matter. What's important is that you keep your peacefulness at all times. Another point to consider about being sent about your personal finances has to do with the bulls and the bears. Usually, you know, a bull in the financial realm is considered to be a positive thing because it's like charging, you know, it's aggressive and it's kind of cool, you know. On the other hand, a bear represents fear, stagnation, you know, getting into the cave. It doesn't sound very sexy, but both of them are equally important. So whenever you're choosing whether to act as a bull or as a bear, timing is very important. Connect with your instinct and trust yourself. So when it comes to using the power of Zen in your personal finances, remember to be patient and be peaceful at all times. Pace yourself in such a way that you keep that peacefulness. And if you're gonna be choosing whether to go acting as a bull or acting as a bear, both of them are equally as important and equally valid. It just depends on timing. Connect to your gut, make an informed decision, but do use your instinct. Trust yourself and go for it, have fun. So my friends, when it comes to your personal finances, remember to always keep your Zen on. Remember that it's only money. For more financial tips, please subscribe to my channel.